Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I hope you're all doing well. I have this stunning kit called Precious by Miss and Meow. It is in like gold foil, I believe, and it's super pretty. I love the earthy neutral tones and of course the green. The yellow is a really great pop for summer and I'm obsessed with the Polaroid and the um, squirrel full box. It's really, really beautiful. But I will say my favorite full box is the one I put on Wednesday, which is the air balloon with the flowers. It is so incredibly stunning. Um, one thing that's on my bucket list is to go into an air balloon and have the whole experience. It looks so pretty and so fun. And um, I also hear it's, it can be dangerous, I think, like with anything. <laughs> um, anything can be dangerous, you know, to a certain extent. But <clears throat> like, I don't know. I've heard some crazy freak accidents with air balloons, so I tried not to think about that. <laughs> but I also love heights. Like I'm, I'm the kind of person that would jump out of a an airplane, you know. And I, I'm laughing because <laughs> Tay was just talking about how um, there's no reason to jump out of a perfectly good airplane, <laughs> but I do like that adrenaline rush, and it's always been something I wanted to try as well. Um, I will say the older I'm getting, the more I don't care to do things like that. Like I used to love roller coasters as a kid and just as I started getting older and I think like maybe a year or two after college I got on a roller coaster and I was like this isn't what it used to be for me anymore and I, it's not really doing the same like thrill and excitement and if anything it's starting to scare me so <laughs> I don't know I might come back to um later on that whole jumping out of an airplane thing who knows but um Usually, you'll know if it's my favorite full box out of the kit if I put it on Wednesday um, and then also on the sidebar. So I definitely try to do that because I feel like, you know, Wednesday is like the center of the page and I usually, the way I stagger my full boxes, it's usually at the top. So I want it to really pop up the most and it really varies, of course, depending on the full boxes and what I have available in different colors and things like that. Um, and then I'll try to mismatch all of the floral full boxes and do those like every other full box if that makes any sense. That way there's some balance and it's alternating. Anyways, I did something different if you guys couldn't tell. Um, last week I did like a free form deco section in the washi area. This week I wanted to do that same concept but in the date cover section and I've never done a free form in the date cover section because I never had like days of the week like this. <laughs> These are from Paper Trail Plans. I'm so glad I got them on both clear and white paper because had I gotten them on clear paper, you wouldn't be able to see them as much since I was layering so many other stickers behind them and those stickers were pretty saturated. So I, um, I'm really glad that I got them. And I know that a few shops offer them, so definitely check them out. And I am just, like, I think this is probably one of my favorite date cover sections I've ever done. So many other people have been doing this, and I've just been inspired by them to finally hop on that wagon and try it. I've been super intimidated and also just nervous because um, it's something new, um, and I never really... One, I didn't really have the proper stickers, like the days of the week. I didn't have those scripts, so it really wouldn't have worked. I also almost forgot to put the numbers. Um, thankfully, I remembered to do that, and I put them on the headers. I've seen Tay do this first and it's so brilliant. Um, it's, I don't know why we've never done it before or I've never done it before where you can totally put dates, like just numbers in the headers and it looks really seamless and it's just so pretty because I, I always felt like some of the, um, dates were so large and bulky looking in the date covers. So I think this is a really pretty way to do it. That's pretty simple and subtle, if that makes any sense. So I really like the sidebar. It turned out super cute. Um, since I only had one of those unique shapes, the that I don't know what shape it was, but that box that came with the kit, since I only had one, I elected to use it in the sidebar. And sometimes I'll go ahead and do that if the kit only comes with one box. That way it's not just randomly used on one day and it doesn't look balanced. So I try to kind of keep my sidebar as that, um, as that place that can keep... Um, like one off stickers if that makes sense sorry guys I'm, it's not even eight o'clock yet and I'm doing this voiceover and I just woke up not too long ago um still sipping at my coffee here but yeah um like I said I really love how this spread turned out it's incredibly beautiful 
And by the way, I did acrylics um, with like a full set on my nails for the first time in a long time. Um, well, I've done full sets on myself before using dip powder and regular gel polish, but I've never done acrylic like with the traditional like monomer and um, uh, powder and stuff like that. And I watched so many reviews, so many videos on YouTube on acrylic nails. Um, I got like decent quality products and um, tools. That way, if I wanted to keep doing it, um, sorry, um, that was my alarm, sorry. But if I wanted to keep doing it, I could have like quality tools to work with. And also, I didn't want to start off with super cheap, like quote unquote cheap, um, or more affor affordable things because um, from a lot of the reviews and advice I was getting, if you start off with really, really cheap tools, oftentimes it won't come out the way you want it to because, you know, it's it's a, it's just smart to invest a little bit more if you can. I know not everybody has that luxury, but um, I was willing to get some like moderate quality tools to start off with. That way I didn't like hate it right off the bat just because I, you know, it was not the best quality to use and then I did it it didn't work that well with me if that makes any sense gosh I am really struggling this voiceover it's fine um but then I also wanted to have decent tools just in case I did enjoy doing it and I wanted to do it again in the future so I could have it and it could last longer so that's kind of like with everything right um I think that's kind of the mindset I'm trying to have in general moving forward like decor in my home um like makeup tools, things like that. I, I want to get things that are going to last me a lot longer. Um, and honestly, I feel like a lot of the makeup tools I've had have lasted me since college, truly, because um, I I invested in like really good makeup tools. Like I, I still have all of my Sigma brushes and they're phenomenal and in really good condition. But to be fair, I don't put makeup on a lot too. So I think that definitely attributes to how long they've lasted <laughs> so I take really good care of them but um, sometimes it's just worth investing in high quality or better quality items because they will last you longer so speaking of um, good quality items I finally just got rid of my um, second pair of Lululemons and I've had them since I graduated college Jeez, that has been a long time I don't want to say how long that's been I don't want to show my age on here <laughs> I'm kidding but has really been that long but it's lasted for quite some time and I'm really really impressed because I feel like Lululemon leggings are very um they're, they can be pricey but when you look at it for 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 them to last six years just shows how great of a qual of quality they are and when I say like I I trashed them it was like a hole finally came up like in one of the seams and that's been wearing them like almost every single week because I just kind of um, cycle through all of my yoga pants because um, I use them as like athleisure wear and um, by the way I just learned that term I feel like such an like I'm so behind on the times <laughs> um, but I wear gym clothes every single day and I work out usually three to five, sometimes six days a week. And if I don't do like full workouts, I'll still like go on walks every day. So I definitely use them. Um, so Lululemon leggings are great. I, I will say I found some decent dupes over on, oh, not Instagram, sorry, over on Amazon that are maybe half the price, but I've already started seeing a lot of pilling and um, yeah, it's, it's not good. Also, do not hike up yoga pants with long nails because you will puncture a hole in them. <laughs> Let me know if you've done that before. Um, but then I also, it just goes to show kind of like the quality of the yoga pants um, that I got from Amazon and they were older. So I think it was probably time for them to go anyways, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> I know I talked through Monday and Tuesday, so I'm so sorry about that. Um, but I did play volleyball for the first time this summer and I was finally excited to use that volleyball sticker from White Deer Stationery. It is so adorable. <laughs> and um, I was able to use that ice cream cone also from White Deer Stationery in brown. There were some browns in this kit. Um, I wouldn't say this ice cream cone was like the perfect brown match, but I didn't really know if I would be able to use it any other time, especially because I don't really eat ice cream during like colder weather. Um, especially with um, those colors being more neutral in kits. So 
I went ahead and just like used it. I was like, whatever, I'm never going to be able to use this. And it was kind of satisfying to be able to use a color that I don't use often in a colorway um, from some shops. So that's the first half of the week. I think it turned out incredibly adorable. Um, I love all the florals that came with this kit. I used a Two Little Bees kit previously that had like the same florals and clip art. So um, <clears throat> two completely different kits. That was like a bee kit, I think, that I used. And or like a honey and bee kit. But I was able to utilize some of the floral trims and I really was so excited because I loved being able to trim those in certain areas of like the columns but especially because some sections I really didn't like the spacing like I took it out on one day but I got rid of so much footage from like the first rectangle I was working on because it was painful to watch. I kept lifting everything I kept rearranging and I think I rearranged it and redid that section three times off camera um, or I deleted the footage um, I hated it it turned out so ugly I was totally in my head I'm sure you guys know what that's like when you're planning and you're just like overthinking every little thing and you're just it's frustrating because it kind of sets the pace for the rest of the plan with me and I feel like sometimes if I don't have a good groove I that's kind of a sign that I just need to walk away and then come back at a different time because if I kept if I kept going, I probably would have hated the rest of the plan with me. So I'm really glad I took a step away and I took a break and I came back refreshed and a little bit more excited <laughs> um, because I get in my head. I'm definitely a perfectionist and I want things to look a certain way, so it bothers me if it doesn't. So anyways, I digress. I kind of keep tripping over my words. Again, I've only had like two sips of my coffee. <laughs> um, but on Thursday, we had so much rain. It's rainy season and it's been insane. Actually, currently, um, we had a storm yesterday. It was super loud thunder. Poor Jace, he was so scared. <laughs> um, but no power went out, but our internet went off. Like the Wi Fi router just stopped working. And, you know, I was on the phone with, Ver with Verizon and talking to their agent, like on a via chat for like an hour and a half yesterday. And although technology is great, it's really frustrating when you have to go through these chats and you have to like take a picture, do a video. If a video isn't correctly um, done, like it's not analyzed the way the robot wants it done. So like it doesn't take it. And I just, I was over at that point. I was like, can I just please talk to somebody like this is very frustrating. Um, and at that point, it, it's been like well over three hours. So we knew it was so much more and there weren't any outages in our area that were showing. So we confirmed through Ethernet that there is actual connection, um, but the router just isn't, you know, working. So I was like, this is great, wonderful. <laughs> like, none of our laptops have Ethernet ports. Like, what is happening here? Um, but yeah, I'm just, it's fine. I'm using one of the um, internet packs that we have. Uh, I think Greg has one from work that they pay for. So it's really great that we have one. It's been working fine, especially to just do work, especially because I work from home. Like I, I obviously need it, but the tech doesn't even come until tomorrow. So kind of bummed that like I have to wait two days. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's frustrating. Like literally sitting around without the Wi-Fi, we were all just like, wow, was this what it's like before the internet? <laughs> like <laughs> just kind of like a reality check, you know, but anyways, I digress. It sucks because we have unlimited data also with Verizon on our phones, but where we live, we're in a more rural area. So, um, it's kind of spotty, you know, it's fine. I couldn't win. <laughs> it's okay. And my head keeps popping up. <laughs> um, all right. So what did I do? <laughs> Talk through so much here. So I got my treadmill. I got, um, so I have a walking treadmill that's not meant for like running or incline. I got that for my standing desk to use regularly while I work and also I will bring it into like my living room and I'll just walk on it while we're like watching a movie as a family or something like that um but then I got like a like a treadmill that's a lot more um heavy duty that I can run on and do incline on I got one of those to go to my gym in the garage and we set that up um it was really nice my mile run is awful I don't want to talk about it <laughs> Um, one, I hate running. I really, really do. I much rather do um, like high in intensity interval training or hit or list like 
low impact, um, steady state cardio, but I just running to me is, I think I, I really dislike it because growing up, my parents forced me into cross country. I say forced lightly, like they put me into like a bunch of extracurriculars and I just, I didn't understand the point of running. Like, why am I running for fun? And listen, if you're a runner, seriously, I'm so jealous. I wish I enjoyed running. I feel like I can totally understand the whole runner's high and, you know, especially when I used to be like a really good runner. <laughs> um, but now I just, I just can't, I just don't like it. I, I like sprints though. I definitely do enjoy sprints. Um, sprints. I'm not very fast, right? Like I'm, I don't have the longest of legs, but it works. <laughs> um, okay. So Friday, let's see, I did a workout and then we went to the pool at my friend's condo and we just hung out with the family, had pizza, um, and just like hung out. We watched Sing 2 on her projector. It was really cool. And then, so Saturday had coffee <clears throat> and watched the sunset. I actually had to talk to my best friend on the phone that morning because we talked about the Roe v. Wade overturning and, um, that happened on Friday the 24th, but I had to kind of let it sink in. Um, and like feel my feelings and emotions. So then Saturday is like what it like hit me so hard. I was just like drinking my coffee, watching the sunrise. I think I got up at um five in the morning just sitting outside. And my best friend, she is the best. <laughs> I love her so much. She, of course, is a morning person. She's a mama. So she was up at like seven. So when I called her, we just had like a venting session. It was re really, really therapeutic and nice to have her um to talk to and kind of just dissect and discuss everything <laughs> and talk about, um, and kind of just go through our, both of our feelings and emotions. So that was really nice, but I wanted to mark that in a really pretty way. And I love how those flowers look. I put the, um, bow between them to kind of look like it's being, um, held together by the bow. Uh, we went to the international market with my family and then we did Korean barbecue at home. We have like a Korean um, barbecue plate. So that was really fun. On Sunday, we went on a family walk. I filmed a plan with me. We watched Kung Fu Panda uh, 2 and 3, and then I did a leg workout and cardio, and then I just meal prepped for the rest of the night. So I tried to alternate the icons that came with the kit in addition to my white jersey stationery and Crafts by Taui icons because I really like them to use, to look balanced, but um, I feel like some of the icons that came with the kit are so specific I sometimes can't use them. So I try my best to utilize what I can, and it's very satisfying. But anyways, that's the entire spread. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for staying through this if you did. Uh, the voiceover is a hot mess, but I appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.